Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm going to unbox some packages that I got while I was on vacation. There's actually one box that I was super waiting on which was my pre-order of the Blood Witch Hangover Recovery Kit, I believe is what it's called. It isn't here yet so I'm going to unbox the boxes that I did get and then when I get the Blood Witch box I will unbox that and then put all of the film together and then you'll get this video. Right now the issue is this tiny issue here. Merlin is sitting on all of my boxes because she's the devil. I know one of these is my pre-order of The Hate You Give and one of them is my book of the month which I don't remember which book I got and I don't remember what the other box is. I ordered two books I think from Amazon like on a whim last week and don't remember what it was so my pre-order of On The Come Up. I think I said The Hate You Give earlier. Eh, whatever. I don't like this. It's textured and it's very unpleasing. I really do not like the texture of this paper. really don't like the feel of that. Okay, that hurts me. Like it, it hurts me. So we'll do the book of the month and then we'll do the mystery box. I don't know where my scissors are so I guess we're to an exacto knife. I really have no idea what this book is. I actually thought I passed this month, which I guess I didn't. <laughs> The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. I guess I did, I read the synopsis of this and chose this book because I liked the synopsis. So this is about a girl by the name of Sylvie whose sister Persephone goes missing I think when they're like 16 or 17 and she went out one night on a date that she wasn't supposed to go on and she didn't return home. They found her body like a week later and no one ever figured out who killed her. And then it's like 16 years later and Sylvie comes home because their mother is sick and has cancer and she came home to take care of her and the nurse at the care center is her sister Persephone's boyfriend who Sylvie thinks had something to do with it. Um, the mother has mental health issues as well and Sylvie kind of has some guilt towards Persephone's death. I've been reading a lot of mysteries lately and I think I the idea of this mystery so I chose it. I didn't remember picking it. I thought I passed this month but apparently not. Also not a book but um, I just got back from two weeks vacation, like I said. And one thing that I did pick up while I was on vacation, because I didn't buy anything while I was on vacation other than this um, deck of oracle cards. They're called the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. I'll show you those. And basically I picked these up because I was at a flea market and it was like $15, which is reasonably priced. But I just really loved the artwork. I really like the cards so I figured I might as well show you those while I was sitting here and they were sitting in front of me because you know we're unboxing stuff and it seemed like a logical next step. And now for the other box that I have no idea what's in it. I know I ordered two books. I know I'm pretty sure one of them is Shadowhunters Codex because I seen one naked the other day and I really liked, <laughs> this is a horrible reason to buy a book, I really liked the cover of the book so I bought a hardback because I wanted that cover. Hopefully that's the edition that I got. We're about to find out, but I don't remember what the other book was that I ordered with it. This is why you don't like wake up from a dead sleep at two in the morning and order books on Amazon and then go back to bed because then you have no idea what you ordered. Oh, oh. The Shadowhunters Codex um, by Cassie Clare and Joshua Lewis. So it's like the, it's like the Shadowhunters book with all things of the things. Oh, it is the one I wanted. Oh. Speaking of texture, this feels amazing. It's very smooth and it just doesn't feel like a normal book. It's really interesting texture. I really like the texture of this book. But I just, I really liked the, the Mortal Cup and it's, you can't see it very well in this lighting that I have going on called whatever the heck my ceiling fan is today. But it's like a purpley blue black marble and I just really liked it when I seen it in someone else's video and I decided that I needed to have it. I mean, I've been looking at this forever, but I was going to like buy the cheaper soft cover. But like, look at this. And I'm probably going to display it on the shelf naked because I love this. And I wish, I wish you guys could feel this. With the other books that I forgot that I ordered, because I knew there was another one, but I couldn't remember what it was. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. It is part of the Lunar Chronicles. It has nine short stories. The first eight, I believe, are either prequel novellas or things that happened in between the books that you don't see in the series itself. And then the ninth is like an epilogue. It's um, the group getting back together after 
the finale of winter. Some people like this book, some people don't, some people say it's worth it, some say it isn't. I just really enjoyed the series so I was looking for something else to order with the Shadowhunters Codex so I picked this up. This is what happens when you buy books at two in the morning. And when my Blood Witch pre-order gets here, came out on Tuesday. Today's Friday. It hasn't shipped yet. I don't know when those are coming, but when it gets here, we'll unbox that. Until then, good luck future me. Okay everyone, it's been a couple of days. I finally had my Fake Crate Hangover Recovery Kit for Blood Witch, and I also got a couple other packages, so I guess we're just gonna open everything. First, I have a package from Book Depository. I am about 99.9% .9 sure that this is my UK edition of Blood Witch. Let's find out. It is! It is the UK cover edition of Blood Witch, so it has the same picture this time. The first two of the UK editions had different pictures than the US editions. This one has the same cover picture, but it has the different font that the UK editions have, and it also has the same spine as the UK editions, which I love, which is one main reason why I bought the UK editions. This is the first physical copy that I've had my hands on, and it's bigger than I expected it to be because I read it in like two days and I don't know it just seemed like it was not this big but I'm super happy to have it. This is literally like my fifth copy that I bought so and I still have the the fake rate box one so yay. This one is from Barnes and Noble and I know that I pre-ordered I think I pre-ordered the short story collection from the Red Queen series which is hilarious because I haven't read Warstorm yet but <laughs> whatever. So I pre-ordered that and I bought some other stuff with it to get to free shipping. And I don't remember what I ordered because that's the life I live. Also, as I'm opening this, I really apologize if like the angle is really weird. I don't typically film at my desk and I just moved my desk. So I'm like filming at my desk and it's in a different place than it normally is and with a new tripod also. So it's just all kinds of weird and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. But I'm like trying to look at the camera but I still think the angle's weird so. Oh. Now I remember. I was wanting to read um, this graphic novel the other day, but I only had like the first volume and not the second and third volumes. So I picked up volumes two and three in the series. These are the witch graphic novels. I've read the first, what do they call it? The first part. So I've read part one, volumes one through three, and I have part two, volume one but not volumes two and three. And when I started buying them, I guess I didn't realize that they were like in each part had three volumes. So I bought the first four books that were out and now I have volumes two and three of part two so I can read that whole part. Yeah. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. This beauteous Maximus thing. I got the Blood Witch hangover recovery kit in the collaboration with Suze, aka Susan Dennard. I have never ordered anything from Fake Rate before. I am not a huge fan of boxes just because I don't read, a, I haven't read a lot of the more popular books. Not that I don't go out of my way to read them, I just haven't read them yet. So a lot of times the articles in them don't necessarily pertain to anything that I am familiar with. So for me, it's not really worth it. But when it is a box that is geared toward a series that I absolutely love, then yes, I would like that very much. I have ignored the spoilers on this. I do know that it has the pre-order pins are also in here, so which I didn't get the pre-order pins because I ordered the UK edition and then I ordered this and then I pre-ordered a few copies for contest winners and gave them the information so that they could get the pre-order pins themselves versus getting like 87 sets of pre-order pins for me because that seemed kind of silly. So, Blood Witch Box, haven't opened it, gonna open it with you guys. Again, exacto knife, tread with caution. Ta-da! I feel like a lot of people when they do unboxings and they're people that do unboxings every single solitary month, but they never have anything to open the box with. Seems peculiar and then you get to watch them struggle to get the box open for 10 minutes. Let's give you guys the first look. Ta -da -da. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I'm dying, guys. Like, totally dying. It's a little England. He's so freaking adorable. I'm going to cry. Do not cry. Okay. Look how mean his face is. He has his angry face on, and he's got his little cape. This little monk cape. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. So adorbs. Adrian adorableness. Oh my god. 
I just, I die. He's so cute. There is an owl and blueberry candle. And it has like the picture of owl and the mountain bat blueberry. And it is by a wiki wiki candle company. Glitter on the top. And the scent is blueberry, amber, and oak moss. It's not terrible. I'm not a huge candle person, especially floral scents. I'm very sensitive to those, so typically I'd be really picky about things that I burn, but I could I could probably do this one, so. Oh, I'm getting dogs. Party works. Cool. Come on, Tracy. Lay down be good. <sighs> I don't know what this is. There's so much stuff in here. I like legit have no idea what happened. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's exciting. Oh, this is the sea fox. Gonna be really hard for you guys to see it because it's very see through. So it's like sea foxy on a sword. Do, 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 do. Ooh, on a sword. It's like a. This feels super soft too. <sighs> Guys, like you're, I'm not even gonna be able to show you the whole thing. Like I'm gonna have to hang it up and show it to you and insert the clip because it's not going to fit. Essentially, it is this gorgeous artwork. Artwork, Safi and Iz. There's a Merrick over here. And down at there is an Edwin, and there's the dance scene. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you can see it, but so amazing. I will show you a big picture of it. Plot now. <gasps> that thing is gorgeous. I don't know who the art is by. I'm sure there's a card in here somewhere that tells me, and I will let you know when I know, but I don't know yet. This is a coffee that bookie candles. It is Matthew's Coffee Shop. It says real Marstocky coffee, best in Manassas City, rum and coconut flavor, which is kind of weird, but I am not a coconut person, but i try it. This is Tide Witch, so it's like bath salts by Bookish Bombs. I am legit not even close to being done pulling stuff out of here. Like, this is insane. Pins now, because that's where we're at in life. It's pins. There's the Mountain Bat pin. That was part of the pre-order exclusive. That is also in these boxes. And then the Sea Fox pin. Again, those are both part of the pre-orders. But there's another one in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. So this is a pen. It has just a really pretty design and it says weasels piss on you which is like totally softy. And the top has the quote, if you wanted to you could bend and shape the world um, which is from Truth Witch. Guys there is more stuff in here. And this is a threadstone necklace. Guys, guys, oh my god I just seen some more stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Um, so like the biggest thing for me, I love the artwork. Like the candles and the pens and stuff are cool, but like the artwork is the stuff that I absolutely love. And I just like sneak to peek of other artwork that's in here and I'm like so excited about it. <sighs> Guys, I could die. I could die. Like I could just keel over and die. You know, I don't speak nomazi, so I don't know what the actual verbiage is. I can't, I'm trying to remember because I've listened to the audiobook and I know that Suze kind of guided them on what um, pronunciations were in the audiobooks. I'm trying to remember, but I can't, but it's like the my Barushta, trust me, as if my soul were yours. And this is a pillowcase. It has a zipper opening on the bottom to put a pillow in. And then guys, there was artwork. I was so excited about the artwork because I am a weirdo. A signed book plate, which is awesome because as I have discussed um, on Twitter, during Suze's book tour, she was actually near where I live several times, like within five hours away or so, which I would have 120% went to. But I was on vacation for two weeks, a thousand miles away. This artwork is Gorge. Ah, this is this is helpful. This is a bookmark and it has the same printing as the scarf does, so you can have a good look at that. And you have some of the lesser known or less common, I'll say, ladies of the series. There is Esme, Styx, Vanessa. Sorry, Flash was warning, he's being a butt. And Ryber. And then this is the um, 
card that tells you what everything is. It also has a letter from the author and a deleted scene. Oh my gosh, there's something else in here that I totally missed. This is a book sleeve. For Lady Fate makes all men choose eventually, even blood witches. So now that I have this card, I can assure you that I can't read all these correctly, but um, like our Aidwin plushie is from Fakery. The My Verushta pillowcase is from Belanca Designs. The tapestry, which was the big one that I showed you a picture of, is by, I believe it's Abriella Bujdoso. I can't read this font. It's not that I can't pronounce the name, it's that I can't read the font. It's very cursive and weird, and also, I'm dyslexic, so that helps. No, it doesn't. The engraved book sleeve is by Verge of Wisteria? No? Okay. The character cards are by, so it's Julia's scroll. That would be these gorgeous things. Whew. And then the final thing is the US copy of the book. If I can find the UK edition, it's around here somewhere. There it is. As you can see, just a few um, minor differences as far as like placement of the author's name and the titles. But the spines are very different. Um, I love the spines of the UK editions. Love them. Well, guys, um, for those of you, because he's here and I'm thinking about it, for those of you who have been here through the saga of Flash getting hit by a car and and having a broken hip, he has not been re-x-rayed yet, which we are going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks, but he is off his pain medication and he is using his leg as usual. So I think he's gonna be all right, guys. He's a big baby, but I think he's gonna be okay. Stop licking me! I think that is everything. Um, this is like the world's longest unboxing. Like I didn't plan on doing, I didn't realize there was gonna be that much stuff in there and I didn't plan on it, my other boxes getting here at the same time. If you have any questions about anything that I unwrapped today, unboxed, unwrapped, however it is you wanna say it, let me know in the comments below. If you have read Blood Witch yet, let me know in the comments below how you feel about it. I have read it, I read it the day that it came out, the day, Tuesday and Wednesday of the week that it came out. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I think I gave it like a 4.75 out of 5 stars, but you'll hear more about that at the end of the month. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!